morning and welcome to another episode of uh, whatever this is called farming city town farming urban yeah let's let the girls out eh? so we're still running the fermented grain it seems to be working i reckon they're eating a little bit less uh they did have runny poos to start with for a little while but they seem to have firmed up now as they've gotten used to eating it we do give them a bit of dry food every now and again, but the value seems to be in the wet food. During the week, we managed to catch four definite roasters. So they're in here separated for now until we find out whether we should eat them or what the plan is with them. But we're just keeping them away from the rest of them because they're starting to bully the rest of the chickens a little bit. If I tip grain out on the grass, I always tip it where the grass is longest because they seem to knock the grass down and eat a bit of it while they pick up the grain. These guys had their cage cleaned and some new bedding put in. Not that you can really tell. It's amazing how much they've knocked all the leaf litter and hay and stuff down during the week. Uh, we'll chuck a bit more fresh stuff in there for them. Fill up their food and water. Hey, why have you put your food dish in your water dish? I don't think any have hatched yet, but we've got a few other jobs to do. Go on, get out. roosters do not want to be caught and go back in their cage there. I'm mean, going to chuck them up the top. Got a lot of overgrowth up there and it'd be good to get them to knock some of it down. We've got to get in there and have a clean up as soon as we get this retainer wall fixed. Yeah, so up there's a bit of a waste heap at the moment. It's for all the old chook pen scrap swing. We will do a dumb run after we pull this retainable force because I'm not sure what I'm going to need and what I'm not going to need. So at the moment it's sort of been just dumped up there, but the grass is getting a bit long. So a few roosters have been in that, uh, that small cage all week. Fresh grass every day, plenty of grain, plenty of fresh water. They just don't have heaps of room and they're not fighting the other chickens or putting any of the other ones in danger. I have been advised that I need to keep them for about another four weeks to get them to optimal eating size. I'd rather not eat them, but what are you gonna do with a heap of roosters? I'll let these hens out, they were out this morning, but we'll let them out again now. Uh, while we get into probably digging some post holes. Not very exciting, I know, but it's gotta be done for this retainer wall. Hey girls. I'm using the clay that comes out of these holes to fill in around the top, the retainer wall toppers we put on in a previous episode. So go back and check that out if you want to know what I'm talking about. So I know we've spoken briefly. Man, is it windy? I know we've spoken briefly about what we're doing with this retainer wall. We put new posts in, lean them back on maybe a 15, 20 degree angle. I don't know what they're on, about 
at that sort of angle. That way this wall is never going to lean over again because it's back on such a steep angle. Uh, so that's sort of the plan. Concrete these new posts in and then pull the bottom of the cut the cut the uh, bottom off there with the recip and then pull the bottom out somehow. I haven't quite got to that bit yet, but uh, that's the plan. Except for right up this other end here where the hay shed is. If you can really call it a shed. <laughs> where the hay's stored anyway. Uh, we want to keep that wall where it is. It's not lent over at all and it's sort of one of the posts, two of the posts holding up that little shed. So what I've decided to do is something a bit unorthodox is I'm splitting that post. <clears throat> Cleared all the wire out of the way and I've got the recip and I'm cutting down the post. That way when we pull it out, these sleepers should come out and these sleepers on this side should stay where they are because that's just a little stubby wall there and I don't really want to pull all this down. There's nothing wrong with it. Oops. So I was a bit worried on how the recip was going to cut it but it seems to be doing all right. Let's see how the rest of it goes. So we did have a bit of a bend there at the end. I'm guessing there's a rock on the other side of that. Uh, but that's low enough. See the top's already started to tilt out, which is not ideal, but this post hadn't really tilted much to start with. So by the time we concrete this other one in, uh, she should be good to go. I've got to race out and buy a bit more grain for these chickens because they eat a lot of grain. We really need to get rid of some, but uh, Get some grain, I might go get a few bags of concrete and uh, I might get these three posts concreted inside, eh? Let's do it. This is the grain I've gone with. Uh, cheapest I could find in the region in 20 litre bags. Maybe I should consider getting bigger bags, so. We bought eight of these. $200 for eight bags. I guess that's a deal. Oh, 25 bucks each single as well. No discount for buying eight, but I've got three of these uh, 60 litre bins, so that should fit in there to keep them free from rodents. Let's get them in the bins and uh, let me know if you can think of a use for these bags. I'm living in town. I, I don't know, top bags. Any good ideas? Leave them in the comments. Okay, so my maths wasn't quite spot on. We filled three of these bins and we got a bag and a little bit left in a storage tub down there. So we'll use that first. Uh, I am looking to get some drums probably to make this a little bit more efficient, but for now we're just working with these cheap garbage bins. They usually keep the rodents here. You can see I spilled a bit down there and they have not missed that at all. Better they made it than anything else. So we get the lids on these. Alright, well thanks for joining us and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.